All right, so... Oh, all right. Going back to the game that you shadow drop at the Game Awards, immediately on the... Everybody loves it. That You put it on Game Pass. It's practically free. What? And, and again, big hit. Everybody loves it. Mm-hmm. How can we fuck it up? <laughs> Let, I, oh, I know. Let's just... Oh, we're, it, this game is not making us enough money, despite the fact that we put it on the Game Pass for fucking free. Uh, you know, let's just... Let's just... Let's just snip off the, the all. Let's just snip off Tango entirely and just put him out of business. Just gone. Lips, just, none, none even exist anymore. It's like, and then you have the audacity, the gall, to go on record and saying, "Oh, we need to get more smaller companies." He's like, to see, to pro- so we can profit from it. I know it's. I'm probably just butchering the entire headline but i don't care i'm fucking you bitch you brought this on yeah, your fucking yeah. self yeah. continue it's yeah. exactly oh, damn imagine having a studio that can make a game like hi-fi rush again it's like, i wonder if you like, can find one of those they eh, microsoft exactly he's mm. like he's like this golden goose isn't giving us enough golden this golden goose isn't giving us enough golden eggs let's fucking kill the goose so we can rip more golden eggs out of it Clearly, fucking genius. You know what? I'm gonna say no, it, and I am mad. Yeah. Mm. Go nuts. You first. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it because I know for a fact people are, have already made this joke. Eric Andre pulls out the gun, shoots all these different companies. Microsoft as Eric Andre. We need more smaller companies to. We need more smaller companies. We need to make more yeah. profit. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm related to also that's Rip Arcane it Austin. It's what yeah. it fucking was. Absolutely. fucking really pisses me off. Yeah. I'm, I was no, I was I think everyone everyone was fucking pissed when he did that, to be honest. Right. Like even the Microsoft fanboys were like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, <laughs> also, then... no, the worst, <laughs> no, the worst no the worst part is it's because you know so you know how that a deal where they spent what was it, eighty, seventy billion dollars buying Activision? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we yeah. have a plan B for that if A, it didn't immediately get them success in that, or just immediately start profiting from Game Pass from the stuff they put on that. Shut down companies? Well, because, yep, because guess, yep, because they bought it on that side and didn't really have a plan of, okay, they didn't really think of it beyond, okay, let's see if we buy all this stuff here. What if we don't make our money back immediately? Uh, no, I never really thought I'd get this far. Did not think that far. <laughs> then you started, so then they just started burning burning down everything else in that side and then they got rid of the one studio that made a game that was actually worth it down that microsoft owned in 2023 yeah no starfield does not count you sit the fuck down mr howard yeah yeah starfield's so great why didn't it works why mr howard if starfield's so great why didn't it get nominated for the game awards got him Eh, eh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man 2 stole half its nominations. It worked out, though, because they both never won anything. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> you know, for as much okay, as, I'm like... Sorry, I'm sorry. You know, for as big of a deal as it was for Microsoft to buy Activision, I genuinely... Like, there was really, another... I, I, I genuinely have not really seen much difference, honestly, over the years. Like, it just... Like, it happened, but it's just, like, after, like, they, they acquired Sweet Activision... For... Like, I really haven't seen much to be difference. Fair, I think the buyout just happened, like, in 20... To be fair, I think the buyout itself happened in, like, 2023 regardless, so... I mean, even for, like... They've not really had a chance to have any games come out that would be in that time, to be fair. Because Diablo 4 was obviously, like, multi-platform, and... They said Call of Duty's gonna stay in that just for the time being, so... I don't know, I just yeah, but at the same time, it's problem. just like when they acquired it, they could have done like more updates and stuff and changes to their existing IPs that Activision had. Like, I don't know, Overwatch 1.5. They could have thought this beyond, didn't. let's just buy another big company. Hmm. Yeah. They could, have, like, they could have like thought of, they could have like thought to step A.01 maybe. Is that just went from step A to step question mark yeah but it just fucking it didn't even do that they just closed it down to... closed down the studios which generally pisses me off yeah. literally 
It's, like there are, there were a million other options you could have done. Nope, 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 throw the switch. Now I gotta go. This has ultimately pissed off so many people that I shit you not to anyone who doesn't actually fucking browse this site. I don't blame you. People on Twitter were saying that ultimately, yeah, uh, Hi-Fi Rush was getting review bombed as one of the best games. Like legitimately, I went on the fucking Steam site and I saw I the game, review recent bomb. reviews is getting overwhelmingly positive results. Just people saying that this game is fucking beautiful. On one hand, yeah, it absolutely fucking is. Yeah, but on the other hand, fuck you, Microsoft. Yeah. It's true. And I know this is probably just speculation, and it probably is. And uh, but apparently, there has been there has been word. I won't take it too seriously not that it fucking matters now that there might have been a sequel in the making and that was the reason that they got canned yeah i i heard about like them being like they i'm having like all right we have a sequel in mind and i like i don't know if that's the reason they got canned but it's just like yeah we did have a sequel in mind too bad we can't fucking do it anymore so thanks microsoft Thank you, yeah, Microsoft. and I've heard that one as well. Thank just it was being pitched in that scene. Thank you, Mr. Howard. It just works. Am I right? Uh, uh, no, let's just let's just put put our money on Skyrim for the twenty fifth fucking time. Yeah. He said, and then when they were on, and when they were put on the spot for it, they didn't even have a they did they didn't even have an answer for why they did it. But we all know the answer. Know, yeah. yeah. At yeah. the very least, play, at, at the does, very least, does being, does being stupid count as an answer. At the very least, the fucking PlayStation went, "Oh fuck, people actually do care about this, and they're not letting us get away with it." All right, we'll walk it back. Sony, uh, Sony was like, "All right, we 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 made it. We fucked up. All right." Microsoft, like. Money, 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 Gotta give Nintendo credit because they know how to fucking moderate when they buy studios and that and don't just literally splurge their entire we are large half their goddamn company budget on uh, a goddamn whim like that. Look, their financial like, practice like Nintendo and studio being closed down. Yeah, look, at least financial practices. Honestly, Nintendo is not the strongest suit on that. But that said, I mean, like at the very least, you have reports of stuff like Animal Crossing and Pokemon, like them legitimately talking about how they can improve the development workflow and avoid like embracing crutch like that i'm like okay like all right literally, yeah plus there's also the fact that they very rarely let any of their employees like go due to like any cuts in that mm -hmm. if ever because we're main that's the company that's known for when the vu was flopping hard yeah their higher ups all took like a pay cut in that to keep the employees working there just because you know Having knowing that your job is likely going to be secure in that tends to be a healthier place for making better quality work, you yeah. know, better quality work. And so you've got more stuff you can do on that as opposed to them being afraid they're going to lose their job every other week. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's just, this is... I don't know, listen, I, that's, I don't want to get into I don't want to... Nintendo's not really relevant to this, so I'll just stop. There, I mean, but... I, I will say it's just like Nintendo okay. seems to be one of the only companies out there now that is like, it's... Making some bad decisions, but the overall, it's still getting nothing but net. But I mean, like, you look at Sony, yeah. you look at Microsoft, fucking Square Enix, of course, like, it's not it's really looking good. Is like, it's doing better than these yeah. other companies, I'll give them that much. And Valve, and Valve as well, because let's yeah. be honest, it's Valve, they just took to the beat of their own drum. Yeah, I mean, like, and legitimately, like, like dude, Val stuff. Valve is doing fine. Valve is doing fine. They're, like, even if, like, people want to argue about the Steam Deck's prices, I mean, dude, it's the fucking Steam Deck. You're getting month by month special sales. You're not just getting, oh, we, we have Memorial Day sales or Christmas sales. No, we're getting developer sales. The the other day, I think we got, like, uh, Devolver Digital sales. Like, they, we're getting, yeah. like, multiple sales on Steam, and that's actually doing pretty goddamn well. Now, with that said, I mean, it's just, like, 
I cut back to other companies like Ubisoft. People are bitching about the fucking Black Samurai, but at the same time, dude, it's fucking Ubisoft. The game that the company that is that is wanting to go on record for saying, yeah, you shouldn't own fucking games. We basically just want you to pay some amount like every month for these games, basically leasing fucking video games. And then you have people like Square Enix who have reportedly basically went, you know what? Uh, we want to create these other games, but it has to make the same money as Final Fantasy. Otherwise, we're not going to be, uh, we're not, we're not going to just continue following it, which is, and considering the amount of development fucking hell that which, a lot of those games awesome. have gone over, dude. Uh. Which, which, so, which is also still a fucking uh, stupid business practice. Mm -hmm. I'm also mm. thinking back to like I think it was the CEO of Take Two or I think it was Take Two just like basically saying that they should have a system where basically you pay us every hour for playing a game just because we put so much work and time into these the only, and you're only paying seventy dollars for it. Come uh, on, that, that might really, be that. Really that might be that, or most Maybe. notably, it might also yeah, be we'll Unity. Like, it might like, also be CEO. Unity Engine because they were like, you know what? We want to have a microtransaction where every time you use Unity, every time you install Unity, you pay a fee. And they had to walk that shit back. Because they realized, oh, wait, I guess everyone doesn't like this. It's not like, no. of, like, yeah, the, of, like the CEO of EA saying, like, basically saying, like, you should pay us every time you have to reload a clip and reload, like, your gun in Battlefield or that. Like, pay a dollar or whatever. Ugh. The fact that we can think of so many examples is probably not a good sign. Immediately, my example was, do you guys not have phones? Yeah, I got a boot. You got the boot. No, we... we oh. <laughs> oh, don't you get started that on Diablo the... 4. Oh, don't you get started on Diablo 4 being always on lane. On yeah. Oh, yeah. Right and the fucking, like, oh, what my God. The, the Xbox One always has to be online fucking shit. That guy, I think, got... The guy, I think, got fired. Uh, oh, you. God. Yeah. No, he no, he stepped down from that. No, he no, like it's worse than that. He fucking no, they backtracked that. He fucking stepped he stepped down from the company. I didn't tell them until like a week beforehand, so they have no time to get a fucking successor for him. And then he went to go work for Discovery and then merged with Warner Brothers and did the same damn shit with all those fucking animators. Yeah. Uh fucking fucking done fucking dump mattress. Yeah, those. Uh, yeah, War Brothers Discovery thought I would fucking forget about that shit. No, bitches, I fucking didn't. You fucking sent so many goddamn animators and so many people into the fucking into the fucking ground. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, because you hate this. animation. Fuck. Yeah, go burn in hell, David Zala, you fucking prick. Mm. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. I best. <laughs> And I think they're fun, aren't they? Truly, just just the most fun. <laughs> yeah, this is this is legitimately just like, just like it's fun. How you're gonna scrap a game? Just sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. Like I'll I'll save it for some other point because Mug brought it up too with uh, Bandai Namco and Code Vein. Mm-hmm. Oh boy! Oh, fuck! I, look, I, look as much as I like some of the games. Fuck Bandai Namco's <laughs> financial practices, because dear God, like how many fucking re-releases of goddamn fucking insert game here are you gonna fucking do, Bandai Namco? Like fucking Dragon Ball Fighters. Don't get me started on that shit. Dragon Ball Fighters has like a fucking gold edition, a silver edition, a platinum edition, ultimate edition. We got a dragon collection. For every single fucking update that has fucking new DLC coming out. What the fuck is wrong with you, Bandai Namco? Stop fucking being predatory! Sorry. Uh, you see, I think... You see, I'm pretty sure... You see, for fighters, that's less egregious, because, you know, it's a fighting game. They kind of get updated as time goes on. Because it's a fighting game. Yeah. Updating, yes, but, <laughs> like... Every, like, fucking, I get the updates, but, dude, fucking every time, like, there's, a like, this big new update, almost every single big new update comes with a, hey, we're including a new DLC character. Hey, because we have a new DLC character, we're gonna be including a big new addition that costs over a hundred fucking dollars! Jesus! I'm not sure that's Dragon Ball Fighters, to be fair. I think that's gonna have been, you know... That's Band, no, that's, no, ban that's yeah, Bandai Namco! Yeah, but... That's just Bandai Namco in fucking yeah, general. Dragon Ball you leave Dragon Ball Fighters out. Leave Dragon Ball Fighters out of it. Then. No! 
<laughs> no, it's also because also mind you, that's also made by Arc maybe System Z Works. Maybe Zeno. Dragon Ball Fighters is also made by Arc System Works, who also has some bullshit DLC practices. To be fair, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be in charge of that though for that, but you know, potato potato. It's like either way, it's just like Guilty Gear Strive, a game that they actually do own. Like it has a fucking Daredevil fucking version that has so many, and then like you know they're releasing characters, but they're also giving like fucking new season pass after season pass after season pass, and then it's just like Bandai Namco. You look at their fucking track record with DLC, and it's fucking predatory as shit. Like, either way, it's a lose-lose situation. You're fucking losing money more and more with every single fucking update. I just want to throw out there that Street Fighter VI is a fantastic fighting game, and it <laughs> literally has the exact same currency system that scummy predatory mobile games use. Mm -hmm. Because literally all the characters in that cost more than the base amount of the in-game currency you need to buy. So you need to get at least two of them, or the one that's more expensive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't. Want, I did not want to play as Rashid that badly. Uh, <laughs> I love him, but you know, he's not worth seven dollars. <laughs>